Hey, it's Bushiro3D here, and in this video we'll be doing some printer maintenance because our extruder is clogged. I'll be showing you how you can quickly, easily, and effectively unclog your extruder and get back to printing within a matter of minutes. So, stick around. Let's turn on our printer. So the first thing that I like to do is center up the extruder. So here's how you auto home your extruder. Tap the knob, go to prepare, then auto home. Now we'll do this. All right, now it's done. And then I move the extruder upwards so I can fit this screwdriver underneath it. To do this, we go into prepare. Under prepare, we scroll all the way down to move axis. Move one millimeter. Move Z. And then we just rotate the knob clockwise. And I usually like to start off going to about 120 and you can see still does not fit underneath there so we can go in and move this back up about 20 more units I'm just going to put it at 151 now Take our screwdriver, we have just enough space to get under there, and that's just what we need. So the next step is to loosen a screw right under here, which will enable us to move this little acrylic section, therefore freeing up the hot end that then can be swung down on these wires. It's a little bit complicated, but it's actually not that hard to do. So we're going to go ahead and take our screwdriver, put it right into that slot, and then apply downwards pressure while loosening. And you should do this pretty carefully because these are relatively sensitive components. But you might not be able to see it up here, but the nut on the top has come loose. Therefore, that tells us that we can now pivot this part. So let's do that. So we're just moving that gently out of the way. Now, the hot end is free. And therefore, we can just slowly work it out of its slot. along with the filament that's with it by feeding it with this gear and that will pull the filament through while also allowing the nozzle to travel further downwards so here is our extruder and hot end and as you can see this jam or clog involved a yellow piece of filament which we were using and a scrap blue piece of filament that looks like it got sliced off from an old print and they both got jammed into here into this main body and of course that stopped the extruder from working so in a moment i'm going to show you the few steps that i take to easily remove this and gloves would not be a bad idea for this exercise but if you aren't wearing them, make sure to either hold on to 
the filament or the back end of the extruder as these areas tend to not get as hot. Although I would definitely recommend just holding on to your tools and taking safety precautions. So now we're going to heat up our extruder. So first we're going to go into control and then go under temperature to the nozzle and set it up to about 180 to 190 degrees. Since we're working with a PLA clog and there will be plenty of temperature. So let's let the nozzle heat up now and then we'll be back in a second. So the temperature has now reached 190 degrees Celsius. And first, you should always have some kind of tool or device to hold the extruder still. Then you should have some kind of pliers, like these curved ones, or needle nose will be fine to work with the filament. So we're going to start off by squeezing in our left hand, which is holding down our extruder, and then trying to work the filament out of the back. So what I recommend is to try to pull it and push it back in, maybe to melt it. But right now we're just doing a simple pull out of the back. And you did see that it, it broke, but that's okay. We still have other methods and we can still pull out this backside. can see that we're getting most of it out now and let's just pull this little scrap out let's see if anything feeds through it so I'm going to try feeding some fresh filament in there just kidding we need to make sure that this thing is completely clean so let's use a little allen key to clean it out so this is the allen key that we're using it's actually just the right width to fit into I believe though just over 1.75 millimeter diameter hole that is in the back of our extruder as you can see it is consistently about 1.5 millimeters across throughout the key so it's a little bit smaller and it will definitely fit. So we're then going to put this 1.5 millimeter in width key in the back of our extruder. We're gonna push it as far as we can. See if anything comes out and nothing comes out, which means our extruder is completely clear. So once everything is cleared, then you can go ahead and reinstall the extruder. But first make sure to cool it down. So go into control, temperature, and either turn the nozzle down to zero or go back to prepare. And then simply just press this cool down command. Therefore, everything is set to zero. Give it a little time and it will start cooling down. And now we're going to reinsert the extruder. Our hot end has reached a safe enough temperature to touch and we're going to start off by tucking these three or so wires in front of this main area then taking the back of the extruder sliding it up through this hole keeping these wires on the right side out of the way and then into the top portion of this main area. Then we're gonna slide the acrylic piece right here back across until it's secure in place. Make sure the extruder's tightly in place. Bring out our screwdriver and then go ahead and tighten everything down. And we have just successfully unclogged this extruder within a matter of a few minutes. Well, that's about it for this video on how to unclog extruders 
for Robo 3D and other FDM style printers. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. Also, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, leave me a comment. I would love it. And please remember to subscribe to this channel as it helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. Go make something awesome, and I will see you in the next video.